Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate on integrating PyCharm with GitHub. As we all know, GitHub is a version control tool and I'm going to use this GitHub to maintain the projects that I'll be creating in Python. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on new videos that I release. Now let's get started with the integration process. I already have a GitHub account created for my channel. To know more about working with GitHub, you can check the video link that I've placed in the description box. So this is my GitHub page and I'm going to create a new repository here to maintain the Python projects that I'm creating. So in GitHub, I'll first create a new repository named Python projects. So go to github.com, click on new, it'll ask you for the repository name. So there I'm going to give Python projects. Then you can give a brief description about the project and then I'm going to make this project a public one. Then click on create repository to create this new repository which is Python project. So I have this new repository which does not have any project inside this repository. Next I'm going to add projects to this repository. So go to PyCharm, file settings and navigate to GitHub. So we have to add a GitHub account here in PyCharm to enable the integration process. So click on add account. So we can add an account by logging in via GitHub or by logging in with token. So first I'll tell you how we can do it with a GitHub. I'm going to click on this login via GitHub. It will take me to the JetBrains page where I'll have to authorize in GitHub. Here I'm getting the message, you have been successfully authorized in GitHub, but for the first time users, you will be prompted for a username and password where you'll have to give the details to enable this authorization. In PyCharm IDE, we can see TakiTaki GitHub to be linked to it. Let me show you the other method where we can log in to GitHub using a token. So I'll first remove this account and then I'm going to add a new account where I'm going to say login with token. So it is asking me for a token. So I'll click on generate, which will take me to the new personal access token page where I can specify the details to create a token. In the personal access token, we have an option to create a classic token or a fine grain token. So classic personal access tokens will have the right access to public repositories. So it will grant access to all the repositories that you have access to and also to the personal repositories. Whereas the fine grained personal access token will have many security advantages when compared to the classic token. I'll click on the generate new token. Here we can see that each token will have access to only specific repositories. So specific permissions can be granted to this token that will make it more secure. So first let me give a token name. Let me say test1 and then expiration date is a must while generating a token. When you generate a token, select only the minimum permissions that are required along with the expiration date. So we can give a description owner and we can also specify the repository access where I can choose only the specific repositories for which the access has to be given. So I'll say Python projects and inside the repository permissions I can specify what kind of permission I can give to this repository on various aspects. I can specify no access or read only or read and write to each of these aspects. So after providing all the details, all that I have to do is at the end, I'll have to generate a token. So this is the token that I have for this Python projects repository. All that I have to do is copy this token and paste it here and add an account. In my PyCharm ID, I can see the account to be added. Whereas in my GitHub under the Python project, it will be blank because I haven't added any file or project into this repository. Once the account is added, go to VCS to enable version control integration. So click on this. 
it will ask you to select a version control system where you will have to select git and click on ok. Now the git root would have got added to my PyCharm projects whatever I have. I have a project created which I want to push to github. So go to git and click on push. It will ask you to define a remote. Here you need to paste the github URL which need to be linked to my PyCharm projects. So I will go to github python projects repository, copy this https git URL and paste it here. Click on ok. Now you have defined the remote to which your project should be pushed. Here you can see a list of projects which I want to push to github. Now I am all set to push the code to github. So I will click the push button that will push the projects to github. So once I refresh the github I can see the list of projects here. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video then take a moment to check my other videos in my channel.